All right, welcome back to the New Equity Network show. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us, broadcasting to you live on 1160 KVCE, DFW's Business Authority. I'm joined with Dr. Bassam Damaj. He's a president and CEO of Innovius Pharmaceutical, symbol I-N-N-V, InnoviusPharma.com, the website. All right, uh, Dr. Damaj, you, we were talking about your new product, uh, Fluticare for Allergenic uh, Reunitis, and how it is about to, provided you get FDA approval, uh, be an over-the-counter cure, or uh, actually as over-the-counter uh, medicine for, for allergies that, that really does a lot more for the patient than the, the, the normal um, medicine they use of Flonase. Is, is that correct? I'm connecting the dot correctly on that. Yes, yes. So, so, so just just to be clear, the the delivery mechanism mechanism of of, of Fluticare mm-hmm. is a much more convenient and and potentially causes less irritation to the patients when they use it. Hence, why they prefer to use that delivery mechanism in mist form than the Flonase one. Okay. Let's get into the business that you have because we've already discussed how it's better and you're going to be very prolific with it. Some 36,000 retail stores and vendors are going to be carrying it, all the major brands. The, the, you've got a pretty decent product mix there with uh, Innovius Pharma. What impact do you see this happening on the company and uh, in regards to revenue and, how, and, and growth rate for Innovius Pharma? So, so as you said, we do have actually a total of six products uh, already commercial in multiple places, which we expect to do about three million this year from. Mm-hmm. So the company is growing at a very fast, fast rate, as compared, for example, to the one million we did last year. But Fluticare is a different beast on its own. This, this is a very large opportunity uh, uh, for the company, where. As, as I mentioned, the, um, there are the, the RX product, the form of this product, makes about $300 million a year in revenues. And we expect to retain about 15% of the RX form. So these are not small amounts. So assuming the FDA gives us the, the, the approval in 2016, which we are hopeful we will get in the first quarter, um, we expect that our revenues in 2016 are going to jump to about $15 million a year. You know, we turned the corner to profitability at $3 million. Wow. So this, this actually has a lot of impact on the company. 2017, we are expecting close to $30 million in revenues, three zero. So this will really put us in a different league now. It, it will really bring the company uh, and potentially the market cap of the company and take us beyond where we are right now. And, 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 and I think one of the reasons that I'm now on the road giving these non deal road shows and talking about the product so I can make the shareholder aware, shareholders aware of this immense opportunity that, that Innovus was able to acquire and as you know, the respiratory disease is, is a very difficult area to get products in. So we, we are actually one of the, the few players uh, that will be one of the few players in, in this market. And hence why we said, see that as a transformation product for the company uh, in 2016 and beyond. With that new thirty million dollar injection of revenue, which is huge, I mean, fifteen percent of three hundred million is forty five million. But if you, let's say it's conservative, thirty million dollar new injection of revenue in the company, what are, if I may ask, and don't tell me things that you can't say out of school, if you will, but uh, what are the plans to for going forward with that? That I mean, that's a big pop from three million to thirty million. It is. It is. It is a, a big, a big pop. And again, our plan really is is, is to move up from the the uh, bulletin board to, to to Nasdaq. Our plan is is to use uh, that money to bring in additional high value products to the company and keep pushing for us beyond the thirty million in revenues and, and be really up there with the with with the major players in in the pharmaceutical industry. So our really. Uh, the, the reason why we brought in this product is to be able to move to the next level, not just in terms of revenues, but in terms of bringing additional products, expanding our portfolio uh, of products, and moving up towards a NASDAQ listing. So, 
Right. That that's going to give you a lot of money to go out and acquire more more companies, more products. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. What about the international market? Because if you're you're curing or helping to, I, I keep saying curing, but I know that's not the right right way to say that. But if if you're um, helping uh, people with their allergies, and that's the, it's so well received. What what are you experiencing abroad? Are, are you do you have plans there, or are you staying domestic? No, definitely. I mean, abroad. You know, we already have um, eight partners abroad. We 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 have commercial distribution agreements in actually thirty countries around the world, mm-hmm. and we expect to be in forty countries by the end of this year. So we are very actually. Um, entrenched internationally and we do we sell products in multiple countries and this product actually is a very needed product it's actually a product believe it or not that's not available in a lot of countries so we'll be the first entrant to market in those countries so we actually will be extensively and aggressively pushing towards getting uh, uh, partners interested in this product to do uh, commercial deals in multiple countries outside the U.S. As you, you know from our history of deals, our commercial partnership deals gives us upfront payments, uh, sales milestones, and royalties on the sales. So with a product like this, it, it's really our projections of $30 million that we expect in 2017 doesn't include the international market at all. So once we are able to tackle the international market, I mean, th- those numbers will dramatically change. By how much? What do you expect? What are your thoughts about how big of a change that would be by bringing in the international markets? So, so the U.S. market is, a, is, is expected to be about a billion dollars in 2017. And right. the U.S. is approximately half the size of the world. So we are looking at about $2 billion dollars of more potential market that's available to us. So if we're doing 30 million in the U.S. and we're able to put it in an extensive number of market, potentially, is if it's on those markets and approved and commercialized, we, we could be looking at $60 million. Wow. From three to 60 over the course of what, three years? Uh, no. Uh, remember, the outside, you have to get an approval. So we're looking from... from um, uh, three to sixty million in, in probably four to five years. Four to five years. That that, uh, as we all know, you know, equity is a forward-looking market. So, that sounds to me like you're you're really to poised to to be a, a serious competitor for uh, some of these other billion-dollar uh, farm pharmaceutical companies. Do you correct? Yes, correct. I mean, I mean, listen. Once once we are there. To be honest with you, we, we most likely will not be existent anymore. One of those farmers is going to come and, 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 and take us over in, in no time. You know, big, mid and big pharma now, they're all looking for products. They are looking for big opportunities with a huge potential uh, looking forward. You know, to be honest with you, with the products we have, uh, with the way we're growing, really, I mean, the, the, the interest in the company keeps on growing. You know, so so we we were, I wouldn't be surprised that you know one day comes in and and Innovus is bought by one of those large farmers. Wow, well, it's, that's just tremendous. Yeah, you know, you've got to really thank your team for for helping to put that together. We've got about a minute left in the uh, uh, broadcast here, but before we go, uh, contact information for for you. Uh, obviously, the stock symbol I N N V. But uh, uh, there's got to be some people out there that really are, are looking for, for bargains on, on these products. With that kind of a, of a projected growth, uh, growth rate, it sounds to me like you're, you're going to end up buying your own island pretty quick. Well, we're looking forward to that, Michael. So not just for me, but also to the shareholders of the company. So this is the goal we have is to get the best return for our shareholders. Well, it seems like all of these these skills that you bring to the table have, have done a real, real great job. Uh, web address, innoviuspharma.com, right? Yes, it's www.innoviuspharma.com. Perfect. All right. Well, I, I want to thank you, Dr. Damaj, uh, for being a guest on our show. I really appreciate what you're doing, and I wish you all the best on your uh, your venture. I know that it'll be a tremendous success, and, and it's really nice to, to know that there's somebody out there making the shareholders very pleased. Thank you very much, Michael. I appreciate the opportunity to be on your show. My pleasure. All right. You've, uh, you've been listening to Dr. Bassam Damage, PhD, President, CEO, INNV, Innovius Pharmaceuticals. 
noviuspharma.com. I'm Michael Yorba at 11.60 a.m. KVCE, DFW's Business Authority on the New Equity Network Show. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you again. Mm-hmm.